I'm Mark Meyer with EnviroGuard. In this video, we're going to train on X4 for your exterior mold and moisture control services. Prior to use, surfaces should be clean and dry. If you haven't already, following this training module, also watch the React Extract Remediation System training for additional safety, equipment, and use details. Also, stay tuned for a short React Extract exterior step-by-step -step protocol and demonstration in this video. X4 is a clear, ready-to-use water repellent sealant for cement and concrete-based facades and claddings, surfaces, structural and building materials. It prevents damage from wind-driven moisture, freeze-thaw expansion, moisture absorption, deterioration, and damage. X4 is used for the long-lasting protection of absorbent mineral substrates such as poured, preformed, and block concrete, bricks, sand lime brick, natural sandstone, and mineral plasters such as stucco and ethos. It is not suitable for less absorbent, dense natural stone especially limestone, marble, and reinforced concrete for bridges and roads. X4 is also ideal for implant impregnation of building materials made of clay, aerated concrete, sand and lime brick, fibrous cement, mineral fibers, and light aggregate. X4 may also serve as a water repellent for emulsion paints and plasters, silicone resin emulsion paints, and silicone resin plasters. In this training video, we're going to discuss safety recommendations, product performance, tools, best practices, ease of use, cleanup, and product coverage to maximize the results, efficiency, and profit of your exterior mold and moisture control services. X4 is non-hazardous and non-VOC to maximize the safety for the user. However, you may want to use nitrile or coated gloves and a Tyvek suit to protect your skin and clothes. If used indoors, a fit-tested half or full-face respirator with an organic vapor cartridge is recommended. Next, let's discuss the tools and materials for your exterior mold and moisture control services. X4 applies milky white and dries clear to preserve the original look of surfaces. It's most often used on exterior facades and cladding like stucco, ephus, brick, aggregate, mortar, concrete block, and the exterior of foundation walls. It's so effective that even when we try to saturate aged and porous mortar joints that have been treated with X4, the water immediately repels. In addition to exterior surfaces, X4 can be used on interior surfaces to shed moisture and keep surfaces cleaner on moisture-prone surfaces such as grout joints, natural stone, shower stalls, and garage and basement floors. X4 is breathable and doesn't change the vapor permeance of a structure. That means that moisture won't build up between the facade or cladding and the building envelope so that mold growth and rot won't occur. In cold weather, X4 protects buildings by preventing moisture absorption, which eliminates the standard freeze-thaw cycles that most exteriors experience. This extends the surface's life and keeps it looking newer and cleaner longer. In warm weather, X4 prevents moisture from being absorbed into exterior surfaces. This lack of capillary action keeps the space between the facade or cladding and the building envelope dry so that condensation is reduced and in many cases eliminated. The shelf life of X4 is a minimum of 24 months. Additionally, if cleaning or stain removal is needed, OxyPrep and OxyPar are used for the React Extract Exterior Cleaning Protocol. You can learn about how and why they work together to achieve superior results in a fraction of the time in the React Extract Remediation Systems Training Module. The equipment needed for this production protocol includes a Rylum tube for every 500 square feet of area being tested, and the BTM sprayer for use in the application of both the React Extract and Exterior Sealing Protocols. Attaining long-term protection from X4 is our priority. Understanding how absorbative a surface is prior to sealing will clarify expectations for your customer and it will tell you exactly when reapplication of X4 is necessary. Rylum testing works by exerting a concentrated water column against the surface. At the zero graduation mark, the theoretical pressure of the water against the surface represents over 98 miles per hour of sustained wind speed. Rylum testing is used on porous and semi-porous exterior surfaces to determine how absorbative a surface is due to wind-driven moisture. A Rylum test should be completed on every 500 square feet of surface area. To conduct Rylum testing, start by forming a bead of putty around the inside flange of the Rylum tube. 
Affix the Rylum tube to the surface being tested, making sure to firmly press the tube into the putty so that a watertight seal is formed. Fill your Rylum tube with 5 mils of water to the zero mark and allow it to stand for 20 minutes per Rylum tube. Record the mils of water absorbed into the surface. This is your first indication of the porosity of the surface you're testing. Once the surface is treated with X4 and has cured, a second reading will give you the comparison data needed to show the absorption percentage reduction. In a standard 20 minute Rylum test, an untreated mortar joint absorbs 2 milliliters of water. Whereas in the same standard 20 minute Rylum test, the same mortar joint sealed with X4 resists moisture absorption. Rylum testing can be conducted annually to know exactly when retreatment is necessary. For more information on measuring moisture resistance to wind-driven rain using a Rylum tube, read the attached article in this training module. There will be times when you come across surfaces that obviously need to be cleaned. In these cases, the React Extract remediation system can be used for exterior surfaces. Next, use your BTM sprayer to apply OxyPrep to all surfaces requiring cleaning. Within 30 to 60 seconds, apply OxyPar to the same surfaces. When the two products combine, a chemical reaction will occur and will produce foam. This is normal and is an indication of correct application. Allow the chemical reaction to penetrate, lift, and suspend the soil load into the foam. The dwell time could take up to three to five minutes. Once the foam turns from a white foam to a very dirty foam, it's time to rinse with water. If spot staining or soiling is still an issue, simply repeat the process. Once cleaning is complete, rinse the BTM sprayer lines out prior to use with X4. Now that we've completed site preparation, let's discuss X4 details and steps. Prior to sealing with X4, surfaces should be clean and dry to the touch. X4 is applied to the point of saturation. Tips range from 0.2 gallons per minute to 1 gallon per minute. Select your tip size based upon how quickly you'd like to apply X4 as well as how absorbative the surfaces are. To increase the speed of application, a slightly larger tip may be desirable. To slow and control the speed of application for newer technicians, a slightly smaller tip may be desirable. Expect to cover 24 inches of surface on every pass. Stir or shake the 5 gallon pail to ensure uniformity prior to use. Open the X4 pail and feed the corresponding draw tube into the bucket. You will only need one line. The second line will remain unused. Open the air valve on the BTM sprayer so that the valve runs parallel to the air line and turn the power on. Set your BTM sprayer at 50 psi. This can be adjusted up or down, but we found that 50 psi prevents against product blowback while maximizing spray pattern and consistency. Since there may be water in the line from a previous job, test the sprayer until X4 consistently sprays from the tip. Test the sample area for desired coverage to establish consistency. To ensure quality control in the application process, and due to the fact that X4 is a low viscosity sealant, saturate the surface being treated to or past the point of runoff, paying particular attention to changes in the absorption and porosity of the substrate. To ensure complete saturation and to obtain even coverage and penetration, always apply directly perpendicular to the surface. Additionally, apply straight onto the surface, avoiding tailing off, and make sure that your spray tip is a minimum of 10 to 12 inches from the surface to prevent oversaturation. Each gallon of X4 is expected to cover an average of 175 to 250 square feet per coat. Coverage may vary due to surface texture, porosity, age and application method. This does not include loss from overspray or overuse. Once the entire space has been sealed, cleanup can begin. For unused chemical, spray it directly back into its original container, run two to three gallons of clear water through the used line. Turn the power off to the unit, turn off the air valve, and drain the condensate from the air compressor before storing. All EnviroGuard products described in this video can be found at EnviroGuardDirect.com or call us at 828-548-3900 for more information.